welcome to some more Tesla news. This is Patrick, I'm in my Model X. I'm not so supercharging at a destination charger in Red Lodge, Montana right now. And I thought it'd be a good time to record a little bit of stuff going on in Tesla land for the past week. So the Tesla supercharger network is just awesome. And apparently they're starting to put power pack systems at them. So this is, this is something that Tesla is doing probably to help with peak demand charges. So they can put a power pack battery there and it can fill up, you know, at night when it's cheaper. And then during the day, it can use that power to power the superchargers at peak rates or help out anyways. But apparently it has a nice cool side effect of it can stay online in power outages for a certain period of time, allowing people to get a few more charges out of the system. And this was reported over in Europe, London supercharger, which is really kind of neat. They're, they're talking about putting solar panels and power packs at all of the supercharger stations eventually. Well, all the news this week is from Electric, by the way. I can't give them enough credit. They're an awesome so source of information, electric.co. They posted this picture of this school bus looking thing charging at a supercharger. And apparently what it is is somebody went and they retrofitted a um, Model S or X possibly and they put this bus on top of the frame so it still is an actual Tesla on the bottom of it so it can, it's still active and can supercharge and it kind of reminds me of what Tesla's talking about doing with their service vehicles they're saying they're going to switch out their service vehicles for a modified S or X or something kind of sitting on top of that frame let me know what you guys think of this if that's I mean it's obviously taking up a lot of space of the supercharger but it'd be kind of neat to see little homemade projects using Tesla powertrain. So there was a lot of news that came out at the quarterly reports from Tesla. There was a little bit of talk about the autopilot and that over the next several months they're going to be rolling out a lot of new features because they have the new AI and vision neural net in place. Working on that, trying to get it all set up and working well before they really started to build on everything else. Model 3 news, tons of Model 3 news, not all good. Uh, some of the good news is Trevor at the Model 3 Owners Club did an hour-long video of a unit. They they just they went all through <laughs> this Model 3, and man, it just I mean they go through everything, and they, they they take a bunch of measurements and they show reports, and it's it's a good little video. It's pretty in depth. Uh, also, they revealed that the Model 3 is delayed, or well, <laughs> it's not delayed so much as just the mass assembly is still not there yet. They still haven't delivered more than a few hundred Model 3s. Uh, I saw on Reddit that there was somebody reporting something in the 700s on the VIN number. So they're, they're, they're getting there. My estimator used to say October through December, and now it's saying November through January for delivery. So it's not that far behind. It's only a month. And they're, they're saying that's due to the battery module assembly line. And that's why Elon is camping out at the Gigafactory most roasting marshmallows on the roof because that's kind of where the bottleneck was going on. But they did show a really cool little um, video. It's of uh, the assembly line. There's a link in the bottom for this Tesla Tesla article. And it shows the assembly line going. And it, it, it's pretty cool, all these welders going at the same time. Uh, it's also reported that one of the part suppliers says that they reduced their order to... 3,000 per week in December, and previously it was going to be 5,000 per week. So you can kind of see where they're behind on the ramp by about a, a month or so. And, of course, Tesla is underselling the Model 3 because they simply can't make enough of them. So <laughs> the EPA, they rate the car, and they say what range they're getting out of it. And then Tesla asks them, well, can kick it down a notch and we'll just say it it's 310 because that's more realistic and it doesn't want to be greater than the more expensive vehicles because the EPA was getting a range of 334 miles on the Model 3. So obviously you know Tesla's going to kind of downplay that a little bit. And they they do that already with the 100Ds and well, like my Model X. I rolled into Red Lodge, Montana with 1 mile and then it, luckily the last Two miles that I needed to go were downhill. So I actually arrived with two miles, which is crazy. The, the EPA rated range, I always add like 20% on top of that just for other factors that you can encounter during a trip. Uh, Model X news, check out my video. <laughs> a little tips and 
tricks video on the Model X Falcon Wing doors, and it shows you like kind of in detail all the different operations, how to get out if you're in a wreck, and how to kind of change some of the settings on it and do a reset if the door ever gets stuck, saving you a visit from your Tesla Ranger. So it's, it's a pretty fun little video. I put a lot of work into it. Please check it out. It's, it's, it's fun. <laughs> Uh, also, if you guys are looking to get a Model S or X, if you finally um, decide to get one or figure out a way to, to swing one, please use my code and you will get free unlimited supercharging for life. And the code is just uh, Patrick4254. And if you tell that to the Tesla store or if you just go to the link, um, in the, the show notes here, then you can get that free supercharging. And that goes till the end of this year, so you still got uh, about two months or so if you want to get in on that before it potentially could go away. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's been fun. I'm going to probably do a live stream when I'm up in Browning, Montana, if I can get bandwidth there. If not, hopefully later in the week, because that's what we're doing there, is we're adding more bandwidth. <laughs> so, Thank you so much. Please subscribe if you haven't. It lets me know that you guys like the show. And I'll be going to the Tesla Semi event here in about a week and a half with Alex of e for electric And we'll be reporting there both on his channel and I'll be putting stuff out on my channel, Tesla Trip. See you guys then. Bye.